So a little update for you guys. We are like five weeks out from the profit meet, I think. Five weeks, right? Yeah. Ari's filming from a laying down position because the poor girl's tailbone is still fractured. So, I just want to show you guys a couple little updates. So first off, I learned that you have to wear deadlift socks during deadlifts at a meet. Did not know that. Didn't see that specification anywhere. So I got these bad boys. Under Armour. They said, they're very specific about the brands that you had to have for like supportive things like wrist wraps and knee wraps or whatever. They didn't say anything about socks. So I, I'm assuming socks won't matter, like the, the brand. But they're cheap anyway, so if I have to get a brand that's like specific to IPF, then I will. Whatever. Anyway, I got these guys for like nine bucks online. Under Armour Deadlift Socks. And that brings me to my next point that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And that's my specific meat SPD Mises that I bought a while ago. Keep them in the top sock drawer like they're, like they're a special drug or something. So, I showed you guys that I got these medium sized SPD knee sleeves as opposed to my regular larges that I train with because these are tighter. And I was gonna use these specifically just for my meat. And then I showed you guys how to get them on with the trash bag method. Now a few of you pointed out that IPF does not allow trash bags or any sort of assistance to get on your knee sleeves. If you can't get them on yourself, you can't use them. I didn't know that, I didn't see that on the site, but if three people said it, then I'm gonna assume it is the case. So I wanted to tell you guys that never fear. So one, I'll have the socks, and the socks will allow them to slide up nicely on my leg anyway, so we're set. But say, for whatever reason, the IPF is like, you can't wear socks now, because they're like stupidly strict about everything. I can still get these mediums on, as long as my skin is very dry. So I just want to show you guys this, because some of you guys are like, oh my god, I feel bad. Nick, you spent like 90 bucks on these things, and you're not, you can't even use them, because you can't use trash bags. Never fear, appreciate your concern, but uh... As long as my skin's dry, I can still get them on. See? <laughs> if I break any sort of sweat at all, it's not going to happen. But, if my skin's dry, the mediums do fit on. So, never fear, we're good. can still use these mediums in my meat coming up in like five weeks. So, that is the update. If, guys, if I goofed again and like I'm not allowed to wear like Under Armour socks or freaking red socks because the IPF doesn't want you to wear red uh, let me know, please. <laughs> I didn't see anything about it, though, so I just got these, but the IPF is incredibly strict, I'm finding out. Anyway, that's a little update for you guys. Thanks for filming, Ari. You're the best. Yeah, buddy. Look at that swag. It's like that Brandon Campbell color coordination right there. Black on red. Black on red. I like that a lot. Hell yeah. Watching the CrossFit games right now. It's interesting. CrossFit is kind of a funny sport, but I give respect to its athletes. I've done a couple of CrossFit workouts. They are freaking hard. So full respect to the CrossFit athletes. They're in great shape. It's cool seeing a genre of fitness become this mainstream. This is on ESPN. Do you guys remember when bodybuilding was on ESPN? I can understand why bodybuilding is not on ESPN, because it's like it's just way too subjective for people and it's unrelatable. I can honestly see raw powerlifting getting on though, especially now that raw powerlifting is becoming more popular. Equipped powerlifting is not relatable either, so I don't think that could ever be on. But raw powerlifting, I think that could be on ESPN one day. You already got strongman, you have CrossFit now, you've had Olympic lifting in the Olympics. I can see raw powerlifting getting on there. That'd be cool. Currently searching for my Halloween costume. Not positive yet. Was kind of thinking Superman because I love Superman. But I really don't know yet. So I'm starting to look. If you have any ideas, let me know. Don't say the Hulk. Every lifter has done the Hulk at one point. But show them what your, show them what your outfit oh, is. Macho Man Randy Savage. Look at this. He's putting, together, he's putting his cart together right now for yeah. it. Well, I'm, look, I'm looking at getting <laughs> the tights. And then I'm trying right now. <laughs> I think right here I've got, yeah, the sunglasses. Yes. And I need to get like a fake beard and shit because I can't grow that on my own. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. Another quick question for you guys. Anybody who's familiar with the IPF, if you've ever competed in the IPF or the USAPL, do you guys know if something like this would be allowed? Like during deadlifts? Like I know slingshot wouldn't, so I'd probably have to turn it inside out. But say I turned it inside out, right, so there's no logo, it's just plain red. 
Do you think that would be allowed? It's not on my actual joint, so it gives no spring whatsoever to my performance. It's just a compression cuff, just because I have tendonitis here. Do you guys know if that's allowed? I, I don't have an email to ask anybody with. So I started to update you guys on the Zoloft that I've been prescribed to a couple of weeks ago. So my update is that the first week side effects, the first week of side effects wore off after the first week, as the doctor predicted. So I was able to sleep just fine, got my sleep schedule back, um, and then when it kicked in fully, it worked really nicely. I didn't feel any sort of anxiety. In fact, I even felt more calm and collected in the gym. If you noticed, you, you didn't really see me doing uh, my Conan stomp before a big squat. You didn't see me barking or amping myself up as much before a big lift. The, 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 jitter jat, the jittery anxiety feeling that I usually get before lifts that I'm usually barking to fight through wasn't there anymore. It was really cool. It made me very calm and collected before all my lifts. The negative, though, was after a couple of weeks, mostly this last week is when I realized it, is it just took away all my excitement and, like, desire for anything in life at all. Um, it didn't make me depressed or suicidal or anything like that. It just, like, I, I did not feel excited about making YouTube videos. I didn't feel excited about training anymore. I didn't feel excited about the idea of progressing and piloting. Things that usually make me very excited day to day, I didn't feel excited about at all. I was like, man, what's the point? And um, it just made me very uninterested in anything. I wasn't excited to hang out with the girlfriend. I wasn't excited to do activities. It just made me very bland, like a robot. And that's a common side effect of these things. So because of that, I'm weaning myself off of it. I've cut the doses back down in half. I'm going to wean my way back down off of it completely. And obviously, you know, re -talk to my doctor. So not a big deal. Tried it. Worked well. Had some great positive sides to it. But obviously, you know, I, I got to be human. So that's a big negative. So that's my little update for you guys since you guys have kind of been following me since I began taking it. I like to be transparent with my subscribers. Hey guys, by the time you're seeing this, I will have dropped a $10 sale. So $10 for all this clothing on the site below. I ship to every single country. What'd you say? I said keep your shirt off. Keep my shirt off? Does that mean I'm not fluffy anymore? No. Ooh! It's to Nick Wright, but it's not mine. Your Halloween costume that I bought you came in. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what the f I hope I fit in this. You'll fit in it. Babe, you bought me an extra small. Yeah, you are. Everything you've ever worn is an extra small. And it's true. You just think you're fat because you've been out of commission for a week. Yeah, my butt really hurts. Well, Halloween's a while away. It's like 10 days or something. Yeah, that's not long. <laughs> Bro, it's in. That's Ariana's costume, schoolgirl, hit. Just got mine at the store. Looked around on every single site from Amazon to eBay to every single commercial costume store website there was. Googled it and everything. Could not find this exact outfit in my size. Went to some hole in the wall store today. They had it in my size. Oh, yeah. All right. You're rolling? Yep. I look so boss like. <laughs> Back up a little bit. Wait, that's the Rocky theme music. That's not Superman. <laughs> yes! This is awesome. Oh, thank God I don't have chicken legs that kind of like halfway match the arms. <laughs> Dude, this is the coolest outfit I've ever gotten in my entire life. <laughs> this is beyond cool. Oh man. I'm so happy with this outfit. I want to do this last year. I'm not going to be it this year. <laughs> I'm going to be so much warmer than you all Halloween. Yeah, I know, Nick. Oh, this thing's like hard plastic. <laughs> yeah, for the first time in my life, I have a chest. And I'm, so, I'm more symmetrical in this thing than I am in real life.